Hi, this is Chris from Optimus FX taking a look at MetaTrader 4. In this video, I'm looking at menus and toolbars. As you can see at the top of the platform, you have several different menus that you can work with. You have a chart menu, uh, it looks like a chart actually, that can restore, minimize, close, go to the next chart, etc. Pretty straightforward. The file, of course, is all about saving. Uh, you know, as a picture, you can print, you can open up an account from there if you don't happen to have one. Um, pretty standard as far as uh, computer applications are concerned. View is uh, pretty straightforward as well. This allows you to look at different boxes on your uh, trading platform. So, for example, Market Watch, you can see what the market's doing at that moment. You can also open up, for example, the terminal that shows you like all of your account information. Uh, the insert is about marking up the chart, indicators, lines, arrows, uh, text, things like that. The charts uh, menu pulls down the ability to do a lot of different things, auto scroll, chart shift, uh, volumes, you want to click on volumes, that can appear. Uh, you can switch to a bar chart, etc. So you see I'm changing that right along and go back to a candle. It's just as easy and if I want volume off, just click on that again. The uh, tools, you can just go to New Order, History Center, uh, Global Variables, that type of thing. Windows, it can pull up all the windows. You can see I have uh, these windows open. I can tile them vertically, horizontally, cascade them uh, as such. You can see that now all of a sudden uh, they are cascaded and uh, to go back you actually have to expand the uh, one of the charts like that and then of course there is the help topics so pretty straightforward pretty easy to deal with now we also need to look at toolbars and those are found in the view toolbars and there are four different ones that you can pull up and then of course you can customize one so if you click on standard you can see that the toolbars will do pretty much everything that the drop down menus will do um, you can see that like for example each if you hover over it tells you what each icon does new order you can turn on auto trading which is for automated uh, Expert and uh, expert advisors, uh, think trading robots, that type of thing. You can do strategy testing. You can open up the terminal, the navigator, the data window, the market watch, uh, the profiles, and then you can close or you can open uh, a new chart. Now, if you go to view and you go to toolbars, just click on that again and make it disappear if you choose to. You also have the charts toolbar, and this is where you can change the look of the chart, obviously. Zoom in, zoom out. Um, pretty standard. Uh, arrange uh, the windows as non-overlapping tiles. Uh, scroll to the end of the chart. Uh, shift end uh, so that you're not actually right there on the end. Uh, most people prefer that. You can add your indicators here, and then, of course, you have your uh, time frames here that are available and then uh, the various templates that you can take a look at so you can get rid of that and then line studies now this is um, you know trend lines that, that type of thing so you can see I can draw a trend line there um, you have equidistant channels draw text um, that kind of thing you can change the look instead of a crosshair or instead of a arrow you can have a crosshair and you can see that uh, that shows me exactly where I'm at on the chart and uh, you can take that off and then go to time frames and then of course this just simply changes the time frame uh, pretty straightforward pretty easy to do you can also have them all on obviously so I'll go ahead and put all of them on and you can see that I have all four of these on they can be adjusted uh, you just 
have to it, get to the end of the chart and it will uh, allow you to drag and uh, if you hold it long enough you know you can on the end here this little knobby part you can see it allows you to grab it and move it so you can you know, for example have everything up there except for this one if that's what you want so it's pretty straightforward pretty easy to do uh, gives you a lot of flexibility as far as uh, interacting in the charts and of course you know you have to keep in mind a lot of this you can do off right clicking the chart as well so it really comes down to personal preference thank you for watching